many times, but I needed attention. No matter what I say, no matter my regrets, things still been said and done. There's not a part of me that wants to say no, but I have realized had to let go. Something's broken And I'm the reason It's not that easy Knowing you'll do better without me Without me Without me This baby is going to be doing I have tried, oh I have tried, yeah To be doing better But I thought again if I said it It'll last forever. I know I make mistakes. It's just the way I am. That's why you have to know. Yeah, there's not a part of me that wants to say no. Mm -hmm. But I have realized I had to let go. Oh, oh, cause something's broken. And I'm the Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a little meet and greet with the new baby chicks. Got a lot of questions about how they're doing and they're doing great. I thought I'd take you on a chicken coop build with me since the babes are going to need a little safe place to grow all their big wings and get strong and I thought I'd take you along with me. If you're new here, my name is Lauren Nicholson and I would love it if you would subscribe. Okay, let's get into it. Well, hello guys. I hope you're all having an awesome summer. I thought I would take you along in the backyard today. If you guys saw my last video, you know that we just had two babes. <gasps> there they are. Hi, Blanca. Here they are. So we have a couple trips coming up this summer and I was getting a little nervous about the babes, look at how Blanca has all the other chickens quarantined over here. Hi babies, hi, what's up? Salty, Salty's like moving along, I wanna come in there. But here's their main chicken coop. Let me just open this so you guys can see. So today, what we're gonna do is clean this out completely. And hi little baby, hi little baby, hello. Hey guys. Hey Blancs. Such a sweet love. This one we got for Pumpkin, who um, was our neighbor's. Hello. Hello. Are you looking for your lobbies? Oh. Always. Always looking for your lobbies, huh? I love you. You having a good day? Yeah. Here, let me zoom out so you can see her cuteness salty so I need to fill their food up today get ready for that I think nope my husband already did it and we've got hay so the or it's not hay excuse me they're flakes but um, we are going to clean this out I'm gonna put a bunch down here so basically what we want to do I'm gonna keep pepper in this one because this is pepper's house hi and then We'll keep the main chickens here, and what I'm thinking about doing is putting the other chicken run maybe this way. I'm not really sure. I don't know why there's a barbecue in here. But we are going to see how it turns out and make sure the chicken, the baby chicks, are super safe while we're traveling and not susceptible to like any type of predator. Hi, Pepper. So today, what we're going to do is 
build the new chicken coop. And this is Avi Tuvin. They actually manufacture the other chicken coop we had in there. How freaking cute is this? Luxury real estate for your furry friends. I absolutely love this one. This is a single story, so it's a lot easier for the babes to get in and out of, and it sits on the ground. So I was thinking of maybe putting them over here where they have a little bit more room. It's shaded and cool, and they're just like super duper safe. So while we travel, we can separate them and keep them safe. But I thought I'd take you guys along, see how it turns out, and let's just catch up, because I miss you guys. All right, let's get started. The first thing you want to do when you are looking for a chicken coop is kind of get an idea of how many chickens you're going to have. Since I know we already have enough space for all of our chickens, I wanted to find a specific coop that was ground level that I could let the little babies get in and out of. It was hard for them to get up the big stairs, especially in their first week or two. And since I knew we had a house sitter staying at the house, I wanted to find a coop that could not only do that, but transition as the chickens need to be separated for whatever Ever reason we do have one chicken right now that has a little bit of a like it's like a little infection on her foot she's doing great and responding to medication but since when we got home and we found out she was sick you have to actually separate the chickens because it's a sad fact but a lot of times when chickens um, sense weakness in another chicken they tend to peck at it and sometimes will absolutely kill the chicken so we have since moved salty into this coop and the baby chicks are not babies anymore they're getting so big they're already pushing their fall feathers which is amazing how fast they're growing so that's one of the reasons I picked this particular coop and I love Avi Tuvin. They, for me, have always been the greatest in um, chicken coops. Not only the construction is really easy, this took me an hour, I did pretty much all of this by myself. And, um, but also I think the aesthetic is really beautiful, the functionality is great. They really did think about all the little things. We have a coop, um, the first coop I ever got, which was a different company, is the red one, which I love. But it doesn't have weatherproofing and this Avi Tuvin even um, inside these bays these are the uh, like roosting bays or this is where they lay their eggs they have this really awesome weather stripping on it so that it actually doesn't leak through where my other one does leak so there are many different things you got to look for when you guys are looking for chicken coops if you have chickens definitely like this video and don't forget to tell us down below how many chickens you have um, we have nine right now including the two babies and this has been a little bit of um, a growing thing because we started with four and later in this video I'll tell you the story about how we ended up with chickens but um, and because some of those babies turned out to be roosters we ended up letting um, Blanca brood two sets of babies and I'll tell you a little bit more about them while we're finishing building this coop. So another important thing to think about when you are looking for a chicken coop is run space. And because of predators, I think the idea of free range is really beautiful and we definitely have a free range area. You guys have seen it on the side of our house. I'm always popping out the window and saying hi to the chickens. So we do let them free range on the side of the house um, when we're there and it's safe. But for the most part, these babies can't just be free ranging. So I went ahead and purchased a specific coop with a nice big free range area where they could run around. I also included some of those bushes because they love to eat the flies out of them. So this is another thing to think about, not only where they're gonna sleep and eat at night, but also where are they gonna run around. If you guys are looking for a starter, this is an awesome, chicken coop it also has two little doors on the top and plus doors on the side so it's really easy access if you are looking to brood babies this is great for the mother and the eggs the other thing to remember is if you are buying 
brand new babies from a feed store or anywhere else, those babies need to be um, incubated inside the house for up to three or four months. I'll link down one of my favorite blogs for um, you know, raising chickens and it's been a great resource for us. But we're gonna go ahead and move Blanca and the babies into the new coop and get them settled in. I thought I would tell you how we started having chickens. When Teddy was three years old, he went to a Montessori school here in our hometown and one of the dads brought in a bunch of chickens for the kids to see hatch. And when summer came, the teachers were kind of frantic trying to figure out who's gonna take these chickens. And I picked up Teddy on his last day of school and the teacher handed me a box with four baby chicks in them, one of which was Blanca. And um, and Teddy said that it was okay that you took these chickens home because we have chickens. And we, we do at the winery, but not at our house. So we thought, okay, we'll just, go along with this and we ended up um, becoming a chicken family and from there our son Jack Henry has really fallen in love with being a you know um, raising chicken so we have got probably four more since then and we've let them brood we always um, move the roosters to the winery just because I can't have roosters in the city limits but this has been an incredible journey for us. We love having the eggs. We also love our chickens. We treat them like family. So if you are looking to um, add chickens to your family, I will link Avi Tuvin's website. Again, they, for me, they are the best coops uh, in the industry. The quality is unmatched. I mean, it's, they really do think about every little thing. They make it really easy to build. And if you're going to get started, this is a great place to start. And I'll also link some of the blogs that I like to read when um, Salty got sick. I hit the blogs really fast, found out what was wrong. It's really hard to find vets that want to treat chickens. Most people uh, don't care that much. So it's been a wonderful journey for us. And you guys ask a lot of questions about the chickens. So I thought this would be kind of a fun video to show you kind of how we quarantine them when they're babies. And we also have Fortuna up there keeping watch on all the activity. Our cats love the chickens. We're very lucky um, that they're so loving. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and meeting the new babies. We have not named them yet. They're still, their little personalities are still evolving. So we're definitely gonna spend some time before we start naming them. But one of them always gets out and I'm thinking of calling her Lucy. Tell me in the comments down below what you think would be some cute names for these babies. They're both barred rocks and we are so excited to watch them grow and thrive in our family. But if you're new, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We share a lot of cooking, decorating, and a lot of homemaking on this channel. And I hope you guys enjoyed getting to see the chickens today. And don't forget to check out the Avi Tuvin um, chicken coop, as well as the blogs that I love to go to when raising chickens. I'll see you guys in the next video real soon. Bye.